All right, everyone, we're gonna take a look at today a device from Digital Photo. It's their 360 rotating platform. We're gonna do an unboxing and a setup of this device. Let's get right to it. Okay, so here we go. So here is one of the components. We have our rods, as you guys can see here. We have the other items inside of this area here. All right, guys, so this is the top plate. This is all metal, okay? And then this is the base plate. So everything that we're gonna need now to assemble this is pretty much gonna be inside of the, um, the uh, com container underneath. <clears throat> All right. So in here is where we should find everything else. All right, guys, so what you're looking at now is all of the other accessories that you're gonna to need to assemble everything. And like I said before, there's only one tool that comes with this. You only need this one screw because that's actually gonna to screw to the top of this pole here. So we're gonna start just assembling this, but after, before we do that, let's talk about some of the items. This is your center column. This is where your ball bearings live. So this is what allows it to spin around. So it just kind of spins around from this, this little component here. And then it does come with these weights. These do come off, so you can adjust these based on you know, how much weight you need to balance out your camera. So these just come into two little sections like so. You could easily detach those. Really nice, high quality. Like I said, the only issue I had was that screw so far. So it looks like everything else you know, now this one here is gonna be for your, this pole here, no, for this pole. And this is the one that you actually use for your camera, okay? And it does come with, it comes with a little um, ball head mount. I don't know how strong this one is going to be. Now I have a number of others that I can test, but it does at least come with the ball head mount, so you will be able to connect your camera directly to this. And you have your other uh, little accessory rod plates that you can use for adding accessories. And then this one here is gonna be for the back, uh, for your backdrop. So the backdrop just fits inside here and then you lock it down with these two little knobs. So that's how we're gonna set all this up. So that's all of our components and this one rogue screw. So what we're gonna do now is just start assembling everything and you guys will kinda just see how I go with this, right? So I'm gonna move all of this out of the way. We're gonna start off with the base plate. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the base plate. So we're gonna connect the first rod to the base plate. And that's this, this is already pre-threaded. So all you have to do is make sure you don't over tighten it. All right guys, that's completely seated now. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add is gonna be that, uh, this mechanism here that we talked about before. And this is gonna allow us to connect the rods into this. So this just slides in like so, like that. And then you have this little controller here on the side. You can just lock that down. And that's just gonna lock it down onto the rod. This will still spin even after you've locked this down onto this component here. So you guys see the rods are gonna go through this little section right here. And then we're gonna get everything else set up. Okay, so you have two of these rods. And all you have to do is slide these through. You're gonna have to release these little, these little screws here so that they will go through. And then they just slide through like so, okay? So let me get this one set up as well. Now, of course you want these to be even. So when you get them right to that point, you could just start tightening these down. So now we have those and we can spin this freely. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we can add either a base plate or we could add uh, the other accessories. So let's start with those. So you actually get two of these. This one is for like an accessory. So like a light or something like that. So I'm gonna put that one on first. I'm just gonna slide it on. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we just want it to go on so you guys can see it. And then this one as well, this is where your camera's gonna mount. We can kind of play with the distance of these, you know, at different points. But for now, let's just lock them down so they don't slide off. So you can always tighten these up. You can tighten these up and then pull them out and then move them out of the way like that. So you don't have to worry about them being in the way. So if you wanna move these further down or something like that, just pull these out and then they'll just go down like so. 
And then the same for this one. We can put that pretty much anywhere. Let's just lock it in place for now, just so it doesn't move around. So on the opposite side is where we're gonna put our counterweights. All right, so I'm spinning it around to the side. We're gonna add our counterweight. But before we add the counterweight, we're gonna add our, I mean, our backdrop mount, mount. That's this right here. So we're gonna slide that on first. And then we can add our, our weights. So I'm just gonna leave these on top. Now these weights are gonna be based on how much weight your camera is. So you can take some of the weight off if you don't need all of it. And again, this is where you're gonna mount your backdrop here. All right, so here we go. So now we can see this can freely spin. No problem whatsoever. It can freely spin around. So what we're gonna add now is going to be the pole on this side for the camera. Okay, so here's the pole again for the camera. So it does have the little ball head mount on top and then there's nothing at the bottom of it. And this just kind of fits right down inside. All right, so then with this, you're just gonna balance this however high you want it and then you could just lock it in place. Now, again, this is also gonna be based on, um, it's gonna be based on, you know, how high you want your camera to sit. You can bring it lower or higher based on the uh, top plate, okay? So the only thing we have left to do is to add the top plate. So we just have to line up the hole like that. And then all we need to do is find our, our one bolt for our Allen key. So as you guys can see, literally anyone could have assembled this. It takes almost no time to assemble. I'm just gonna tighten down this Allen key real quick. You guys can see that. Don't over tighten these. There we go. So that's pretty good. That's solid. That's rock solid now. So it's not moving. Okay, so this is the setup right now. So we have our camera mount. We have our top plate. We have our counterweights here at the base. So the way this is supposed to work, once you attach a camera to this, so you would attach your camera here, let's say you're attaching your camera um, to this top plate here, and then you, know, you can adjust the height or anything like that, then you're gonna be able to spin this around. So the camera would be orbiting around whatever the product is on this, um, on this top plate, okay? And this is just moving by momentum. We do have this backdrop, okay? So we're gonna have to peel the paper off. Um, this is the glossy side, and this is the matte side. So let's say I want this to be back here near where this weight is. Then I could just lock that down, lock that one down. And then all I gotta do now is just put the backdrop back in here, like so. Figure out where the center is, make sure it's snug enough that it's not gonna fly out. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's gonna be your backdrop, and that's what your camera is gonna be facing. So as you can see right now, by the way I did it, it's not even, so I need to adjust it. So you would place your product on this top plate. So let's say you wanted to um, shoot a high-end video of this lens and you wanted the camera to rotate around it. You could do a full 360 like this, or you could do something where you just wanna show certain angles and just move the camera yourself and then change the position.